of making plans to prevent, respond to, and recover from emergencies. Four phases of emergency preparedness. One, mitigation takes place before and after emergency occurs, identifies potential hazards, reduce likelihood of their occurrence, and minimizing effects of the ones that can't be prevented. So basically, minimize the risk of them happening, and if you can't, then try to minimize the effects. Building codes and zoning, vulnerable analysis, public education. Two, preparedness takes place before an emergency occurs. Risks are assessed and plans are developed to address them, save lives, and assist first response team as this is probably overwhelming. Prepared plans, exercise training, warning systems, sirens, developed at federal, regional, state, and local levels. Three, response followed during and immediately after emergency. When you're actually doing your prepared plans. The implementation. Search and rescue operations, public warning systems, triaging people, emergency operations. Four, recovery takes place after an emergency. Designed to restore the community to normal balance. Temporary housing, claims processing and grants, long-term medical care and counseling. Emergency plans. Triage, prioritizing patients for treatment based on severity of illness or injury and in light of the supplies and resources available. Reverse triage, most severely injured or ill victims who require the greatest resources are treated last to allow the greatest number of victims to receive medical attention. This is used during a mass casualty event, greater than 100 victims, cause it's just like save who you can at this point greatest good for greatest damned of PTS asterisk uses the tags for the four levels. Site specific disaster zones, access to the site of contamination is limited and safety zones are established, should be located uphill, upwind, and upstream from site of disaster, initial site of the disaster is called the hot zone. Bioterrorism, the deliberate release of viruses, bacteria, or other microbes as weapons. X, anthrax, smallpox. Asterisk CDC has assigned highest priority to biological agents that can be easily disseminated or transmitted from individual to individual. Nurse's role during a disaster varies depending on type of disaster, location, number, and condition of victims and personnel must be aware of their employer's response plans jc mandates specific standards for hospital preparedness including eop emergency operation plan disaster drills should be conducted at least twice annually one involving community-wide resources and actual or simulated clients understands that their role varies during disaster education provided to families about disaster planning family disaster kit must strive to maximize patient safety must understand ethics associated with choices they might have to make be aware of state regulation may be called on to perform triaging disaster responses emergency management system ems declaration of disaster fkn baker w COVID. disaster relief organization fema federal emergency management agency American Red Cross provides shelter and food for basic human needs. Hazardous Material Response, Hazmat. CDC, U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Office and Emergency of Management, EOM. Hospital Disaster Preparedness. Surge capacity able to accommodate influxes of patients. Incident Command System, who are you reporting to? Barriers to response, safe areas for nurses to respond. Altered standards of care may discharge people early if they're stable to make more room. Triaging tagging system patient tracking is critical. Stays on patient, securely placed. Include pertinent information. Used by command center to track patients, assign beds, and provide info to families. Start triaging asterisk. Tag color and label. Significance. Expectant, deceased. Black triage tag color. Victim unlikely to survive given severity of injuries. Palliative care and pain relief should be provided. 
any patient who does not have respiratory effort after attempting to open the airway. Any patient who will die before appropriate treatment is available. Immediate, emergent. Red triage tag color. Do not delay TX. Victim can be helped by immediate intervention and transport. Requires medical attention within minutes for survival, up to 60. Includes compromises to patient's airway, breathing, circulation. Respirations, greater than 30 per minute. Perfusion, no radial pulse or a capillary refill time greater than 2 seconds. Mental status, unable to follow simple commands. Delayed, urgent. Yellow triage tag color. Can delay TX 30 minutes to 2 hours. Includes serious and potentially life-threatening injuries, but status not expected to deteriorate significantly over several hours. A severely injured patient who needs evaluation and treatment but may not require immediate transport. Any patient who cannot walk but has respiratory drive and are within normal limits with RPM equals respirations, pulse and mentation. Minor, non-urgent. Green triage tag color. Can delay TX two to four hours. Victim with relatively minor injuries. Patients requiring minor treatment or prophylactic evaluation. Status unlikely to deteriorate over days. May be able to assist in own care. Any ambulatory patient, walking wounded. Primary survey. Secondary survey. Airway with cervical spine stabilization. Breathing. Circulation. Disability neurological. Exposed slash environmental, control slash evidence. Full set of VS. Give comfort. History. Allergies. Medications. Past medical history. Last meal. Events surrounding injury. Asterisk inspect posterior. Common biological weapons or weapons of terror. Biological agents may be delivered or spread in a number of ways. Because off modern travel, spread of infection may occur in areas thousands of miles apart. Healthcare providers need to be aware of potential signs of biological weapon dissemination. Signs and symptoms are similar to those of common disease process. Some agents require transmission-based precautions, but at the very least, use standard precautions. Isolation practices depend on the infecting agent. Terminal disinfection and disposal of wastes depend on the infecting agent. Pathogen. Cause. Signs and symptoms. Transmission. Anthrax. Incubation one to six days. Bacillus anthracis. Skin, small sore, blister, skin ulcer with black spot. Respiratory, sore throat, fever, muscle aches, cough, chest pain, SOB, flu-like SX. GI, nausea, vomiting, bloody diarrhea. TX, antibiotics within 24 hours x 60 days. Skin, direct contact, skin. Respiratory, inhalation. GI, undercooked meat or diary from infected animals, ingestion. Standard precautions. Does not spread person person. Smallpox. Incubation 12 days. Varilla virus. High fever. Rash, spot on tongue slash mouth open sores spreads down body raised bumps bumps fill with thick fluid with depression in middle. Pustular rash. Malaise. H slash A, backache. Prostration. Maculopapular rash after one to two days on face, mouth, pharynx, forearms. Asterisk cure with antibiotics. Extremely contagious. Transmission precautions, isolated. Face-to-face -face exposure, aerosol, body fluids, clothing slash bed linen, direct contact, droplets. Nuclear radiation decontamination. Triage outside of the hospital. Cover floor, use strict isolation precautions to prevent tracking of contamination. 
Air ducts and vents are sealed. Staff protection. Water resistant gowns. Two pairs of gloves. Caps, goggles, mask for booties. Dosimetry devices. Disaster recovery. Begins when danger no longer exists and the stand down order has been given. Crisis intervention. Mental health response team employs advanced crisis intervention techniques to help victims, survivors, and their families better handle the powerful emotional reactions associated with crisis and disasters. Goals. Reduce the intensity of an individual's emotion reaction. Assist individuals in recovering from the crisis. Help to prevent serious long-term problems from developing. Post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD, a mental health condition that can develop following any traumatic or catastrophic life experience. PTSD symptoms can develop in survivors of a disaster weeks, months, or even years following the catastrophic event.